that one. The California holly. That's Caden's favorite flower. And today, we're out enjoying another beautiful sunny day here in Southern California. But I'm not here to show you flowers. I'm here to show you something way cooler right over here. Let's go oh. take a look. So what's up everybody? I am Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and today I want to show you this awesome beast. I can't see mine. Oh, but wait a second. Maybe this is the awesome beast. Who's this? Caden from Growing Up Garage. Yeah, Caden from Growing Up Garage is here to help me show you guys this awesome vehicle behind me. What is it? A Chevy Express Road Trek. Yes, this thing is awesome. I want to say this is maybe only the first one, second one that we've done, but the first one to this level of just awesomeness. I can't wait to walk you guys through this and show you all the cool things that we've done. And as you're seeing this awesome green behind me, yes, when it came into the shop, it wasn't this awesome green. No, it wasn't. And there's so many things that you're gonna see this vehicle transform from what it was to what it is now. So let's start off where we always start off and that's in the front of these things showing you guys exactly what we did. So come on, Kaden, let's go, dude. Kaden, what's your most, what's your favorite thing about this thing? What did- Oh, it's the one wrench in the light force lights. Yeah, dude, like he said, I mean, we love these Life Force lights. These things are awesome. The HTX 230 millimeter light. And what's awesome about these things is there is an HID on the inside and then the halo on the outside LED. So it's going to give you a ton of light. Um, we've also thrown on here, you'll see two Venom lights underneath here. And then the awesome Warren, Warren Xeon 12S winch. That's a mouthful right there. Caden, can you say that? One Xeon 12. S winch. S winch. Yeah, nailed it. Boom. All right, guys. So as you can tell, me and him always have a good time. So what you'll see on the front of this is our Austin's getting killed by bugs. He's getting murdered, and I think it's funny, and he's just going to lose his <laughs> mind, guys. So you're going to see the camera. It's going to be like, ah. Welcome. To Jurassic Park. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut that. What would you do with my water, boy? Back to the bumper. So, stealth winch bumper. Awesome. Love it. ECP powder coating, super big shout out to them. Killed it as always with all the powder coating on this van. Just double thumbs up it right there, ECP. So, this green, I just can't get enough of this green. I mean, this is beautiful and just look at that metallic in the green. I'm digging this. At first I was like, man, I don't know about this color and now, Killed it, murdered it, loved it. And as you'll see, as we walk around the rest of this van, noticing all the green, you're also gonna notice the black. So on this van, we did the front grill center section here in the bed liner material. We've also done all the rocker panels in the bed liner material. And we've also done all the wheel wells in the bed liner material. And as we go around, I'll open up all the doors, show you the doors and how we bring that bed liner material into the doors for just seamless body lines that look awesome. So other than what's done on the front of this, you guys are probably wondering, well, hey, how did you guys get those 285 tires on there with a set of method wheels? And only one answer to that is our coilover system. 
Now, this is what we want you guys to know, understand, and love is that this is running our coilover system. So typically you see our coilover system on the four wheel drive kits. However, this is still a two wheel drive van. 2.5 King coilovers, IBPs, compression adjusters, all the thing that's great about it that gives you so much adjustability in this front end, still in a two wheel drive version. Now here's what's great. Six months, a year, two days, whatever it may be, you decide you wanna put four wheel drive under this van. All of your suspension components are there. The only thing that's necessary to add is now some bracketry, your front differential, a transfer case, drive shafts, and some electrical. So that's what's gonna need to be added to it, but at least you've got the meat and potatoes of it, and then you're getting the lift and the incredible ride on it. So as you can see, Caden's hanging out with these awesome method wheels um, and these BFG all-terrain tires. Um, and you'll notice as we peek our head underneath this, we're also running our sway bar kit on this that we showed you in the 2.8 liter Duramax video. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna throw a card up there and you guys can check out that video. So this particular vehicle has the 6.0 gas engine. And in this, we're also running a 410 gear ratio in order to turn these awesome BFG tires. I think I said it, but I'm gonna make sure that I tell you guys again because I know we're gonna get somebody that's gonna comment on there that says, you didn't tell me the tire size, or I'm gonna tell you it has 35s and really it's only 33s. So 285, 70, 17 BFG KO2 tires. That's what we're running on this um, particular van. I just love this as we walk down it. What's cool is this is gonna have all the body kit on the bottom of it. So this van doesn't typically look as tall as some of the other vans do because this body kit hangs down lower. What that's gonna do is it's gonna hide all your gray water, your black water, your propane tank. Well, actually the propane tank is in the back. The generator's in the back, which is really nice. Um, but then your battery and other compartments for storage, which is all really nice to have on these vans. We all know that we love more storage. And since this does have the high roof on here, we're not really having the option to put a roof rack or a roof rack that could carry a significant amount of weight. So we're not really doing that. So you're gonna get a little bit more storage um, on there. So as we move around to the back, uh, you're gonna see that as we peek our head in here, we have a massive set of leaf springs in there. We did a custom set of leaf springs. Um, and then also in the back, we're running a 2.5 King Shock with the IBP adjusters also, or the IBP and the external compression adjusters. Man, that's a mouthful. So really nice, able to control the ride and the compression in the back of this thing. Man, I should have, maybe today should have been the day I wore a hat. It's getting, it's getting toasty out here. All right, so enough about this van. Let's go to the back of this thing and check out all the awesomeness that we've done. But enough from me, you know, because I talk way too much. So my favorite thing of this van is the spare tire and box, but on our SEMA van, there's gold meals. So just want to show you guys how both of these open. So once this side is open, and what's really cool is once this side is open, you can see that that box is going to swing all the way around so that it's kind of in your camp if you're running your camp out of the side. And as we open this up, you'll see that there is a ton of stuff in here. And you can kind of get an idea. So on this, this would, is under construction. The owners are doing some things to it. Um, you would have either a uh, couch back here and then this would turn into a bed but as Caden climbs up on this bumper you're gonna see that rhino lining once again being carried all the way through this in the whole inside of the door jams not just stopping at the outsides of it so getting carried all the way in so something cool just the little details of course you don't have to do that but that's what we like to show you um, and we're just gonna lock Caden in all right see you later Caden 
So we'll keep going around this thing, motoring around it, motoring around it. So what's nice about this is this does have the full awning that's gonna come off the side. And probably when we open this door, did we find a Caden? There, oh, he's coming, he's not here yet. And so we keep showing you guys this in the videos and we wanna make sure that all you Chevy guys know that this happens is we're gonna quickly show you the latch and look how nice that opens up all the way. So that's this little latch right there. Just pull on that when you get the door about 25% of the way open. So what's cool is inside this road track, we're gonna have passengers seats for two more. And in a follow-up video, we'll have to show you what we're gonna do in the next stage of this as far as um, we're gonna change up some things in the seats in the back of this. But what we did do is you'll see that we've also done the seats in the front of this. We've added pockets to the rear of these, which is gonna be really nice. So if you wanna be able to put stuff in it, for me personally, the kids always find a ton of stuff wherever we go and seem to fill up those pockets. I mean, I found the abandoned houses. Yep, when we went to the abandoned houses, Caden put stuff in there, yeah? So, I'm gonna put up a card on my channel and you can watch the video of what we're talking about. Yep, we went and explored some abandoned houses. So, we're always doing crazy stuff in our Chevy Express van. So let's go ahead and open these front seats. We're gonna close them in again. And as we head up into the front, you're gonna see these awesome, our ultra seat conversion done in a light gray and in a charcoal gray. A really nice thing. Oh, and it's Caden again. What's up, Caden? Um, super comfortable, really nice. Can't say enough good things about them. Have them, love them, they're great. Uh, so that's it. This is our Chevy Express road trek that we did. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Let us know. Um, oh, and please subscribe to Growing Up Rock. Oh, subscribe to Growing Up. Well, what about subscribe to Weld Tech Designs? You have to see that. Oh, I got. All right. So hey, everybody. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Weld Tech Designs. We're putting out a ton of videos showing you these awesome vans that we're building here. And we hope that you guys will enjoy all these videos and get something out of it that you're learning. For you guys that are watching these videos and learning absolutely nothing, I think. So thanks for watching, big thumbs up. And this is our Chevy Express Road Tech. We'll see you guys next time. We have to try again. on and then you stop. I think we're done. This is over. Like, how do you do that? Like, cut, cut, <laughs> cut. <laughs>